Hello students, once again welcome to Bholanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to see the fourth example that is called as azido carbon disulfide. Why it is azido? Because of the ni nitrogen. Yeah, there is a three nitrogen strength that is why it is called as, this is the azide group that is why it is called as azido. Azido carbon disulfide. Carbon disulfide, two sulfide. So this compound is called as what? Azido carbon disulfide. Yes, C, yes, N, three, twice. Understanding students? So that is called why it is called as what azido carbon disulfide. It is what azido because of the three nitrogen we call as what azide group because it is called as what azido carbon disulfide. Azido carbon disulfide. Understanding students? How you are going to prepare students azido carbon disulfide? First preparation it can be prepared by reacting. It's potassium salt. Potassium salt of azido carbon disulfide. This is a potassium salt of azido carbon salt with iodine at forty degrees Celsius with H2O2 that is hydrogen peroxide so you, with in presence of H2O2 students you will get potassium iodide and you are getting what? Azero this N3 N3 and because of the uh, 3 nitrogen it is called as N0 Azero carbon disulfide students understanding yes C yes N3 understanding you are getting what? Azero carbon disulfide now what happens students when the potassium salt of Azero disulfide react with hydrogen peroxide it will forming it will form potassium hydrox hydroxide and you are getting what azido carbon disulfide so this way you can prepare the azido carbon disulfide and understanding students so only these two methods are there students now once you prepare students what are the properties this azido carbon disulfide has so first property students when you see students it is crystalline solid understanding that you will feel there is a crystals are there in solid state it is a crystalline solid it expose when hammered or impact because of following autocatalytic reaction in which sulfur and nitrogen set free understanding students when you heat students when you what happens students when you apply the force on this compound impact it will give nit there is elimination of water and sulfur and you are getting what thiocyanogen it react with alkali similar to halogens understanding students when you have a zero car a zero carbon disulfide students it is reacting with NaOH alkali and it will give the this type of compound understanding sodium salt of azido disulfide and sodium salt, salt of azido cyanate and you are getting water water now what will be the structure it will have students the following structure suggests to these compounds are as below when you, if you want to write down the structure of the students it will be like this so because it is twice now students so one azido one azido carbon disulfide will be the here and a second will be here so sulfur sulfur single bond and after that students you have carbon and sulfur double bond carbon sulfur double bond and carbon and azide will be having single bond understanding here it is having double double nitrogen nitrogen double bond and nitrogen carbon single bond understanding students so these are the structure of the azido carbon disulfide understanding students so this is the way you have to write in the examinations you will get a full marks students if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you